In this video, I'm going to show you how to automatically install new WordPress themes to your WordPress blog. Now, the first thing you need to do is log in to your WordPress dashboard and then look for the Appearance tab, maximize that and click on Themes. On the main Themes page, you can see all your existing WordPress themes that you have already installed to your WordPress blog. Now if you want to preview a theme, then you can just click on preview and you should see a new window open up here with a preview of how uh, this particular theme will look like on your WordPress blog. And you can see the theme here. So if you want to close the window, just click on the X button here. And you can have as many themes as you want in your WordPress blog. But for now, I'm going to show you how to install new themes. To do that, just click on Install Themes. Now, there are thousands of WordPress themes that you can download for free. The key to getting the perfect theme for your blog is to know exactly what you're looking for. But if you don't and you just want to check out what are the uh, most popular uh, WordPress themes, then you can click on Featured. And you can see that these are some of the featured uh, free WordPress themes that you can use on your blog. And you can, as you can see, these themes look pretty good. Another way to find the perfect WordPress theme for your blog is to base your theme on a few criteria. So for example, if I want a blue WordPress theme, then I can just check on blue and then I can determine the amount of columns I want. These columns refer to the amount of sidebar columns. Okay. So if I want a one column theme and then I can also select if I want that column to be on the left or on the right. So I'm going to select right and next I can select if I want a fixed width theme or a flexible width theme. Now in most cases I recommend that you select fixed width. And finally you can select the features that you want in your theme. Do you want your themes to allow you to select your own colors? If you do then you can just click on this option here. And then you can also select if you want a custom header, custom background, uh, if you want it to have theme options and if you want it to have micro formats, if you want your team to be translation ready and also if you want your team to be compatible with Buddy Press. And if you want a team just for a particular season, for example holiday or photo blogging or seasonal teams, then you can also search by that criteria. Now the more options that you check here, the less teams you're going to find. So I'm just going to go with three options and click on find teams. Okay, so it says that no teams are found. Okay, so let me narrow that down to just one term, which is a blue team. So I want to use a blue color team for my blog. Okay, so you can see that there are several blue color themes. Well, in fact, not all of them are actually blue, but they do use the keyword blue, and that's why it appears here. So you can go through uh, some of the themes that you want to use. So let's say I want to use um, this WordPress theme over here called Elegant Brain. Now, before I can before I install the theme, I can just preview the theme to see how it will look like. Alright, so the difference here is that the content on this preview theme is not the actual blog content from my own blog. And so, but you can get a pretty good idea if you want to use this theme or not. You close that and then you click on install theme. Okay, so here's a confirmation screen if you want to install this theme and just click on install now. And the theme has been automatically installed to my WordPress blog. 
Now, depending on your web hosting provider um, and the way they actually configure the uh, WordPress uh, system on their web hosting servers, you may also be asked to enter your FTP uh, username and password. But in this case, the web hosting that I'm using has a more advanced features that support automatic log uh, that supports auto log into my FTP account. So I can either preview or I can activate the team. So I'm just going to click on activate. Okay, so my new team has been activated. And let's take a look at it. This is the default WordPress team. I'm going to refresh that. Alright, and this is how my new WordPress team looks like. So that's how easy it is to start using your own WordPress themes on your WordPress blog.